Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be doing some initial value problems and the first one that we're going to do is dy over dx equals 3x to the third plus 2 over, whoa, 2 over x squared and the initial condition they give us is y of 1 equals 1. So with initial value problems, um, the first thing that we always do is take the integral of the equation dy over dx. So um, we'll go ahead and say the integral of this function here, 3x cubed plus 2 over x squared, and then we add dx because it's part of integral notation. Um, and then the way that we're going to do this is one term at a time. So uh, first we'll take the integral of 3x squared. And as always, the way that we do that is first add 1 to the exponent. So we have x here. Um, we add 1 to the exponent, so the exponent is going to be 4. And then we do the coefficient 3 divided by the new exponent, 4. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but the, the coefficient is now going to be 3 fourths. So 3 fourths x to the fourth, um, and then we'll take the, um, the integral of this term, so we'll say plus, um, and we're actually going to go ahead and change this term from 2 over x squared to 2x two to the negative 2, and the reason that we can do that is because whenever we move something from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom of the equation, we can flip the sign on the exponent from a positive to a negative, or a negative to a positive. So I just changed um, this positive 2 to a negative 2, and then moved this whole thing to the top. So that's why I was able to do that. So I have 2x to the negative 2. So we're going to go ahead and add 1 to this exponent. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So we'll go ahead and say x to the negative 1. And then we divide 2, the coefficient, by the new exponent, negative 1, so 2 over negative 1. Um, and then, of course, we have to say plus c um, because uh, we, have, we all have to add the constant in um, when we're taking the integral of anything. Um, so let's go ahead and simplify this first up here before we go ahead and, um, and apply this initial condition. So I'm going to keep the 3 fourths x to the 4 3 fourths x to the 4. Um, but here I have 2 over negative 1. So that's actually going to be a negative 2. So we'll go ahead and say minus 2. And then I have x to the negative 1. And just in the same way that we took this x squared in the denominator and moved it to the numerator by flipping the sign on the exponent, we can move, um, we can move this uh, x to the negative 1 from the numerator to the denominator by flipping a sign on the exponent from a negative to a positive. So instead of x to the negative 1, we can do 1 over x to the 1. So 1 over x to the 1. Um, I took this from the, from the top and I put it here on the bottom, flipping this sign from a negative to a positive. And of course, I don't need to write the 1 there, it's implied, so I'm just going to go ahead and erase it. So now we have x in the denominator. And then um, I'm just going to go ahead and do plus c because that stays. So now we have a simplified equation. And we have to go ahead and, and apply the, um, the initial condition y of 1 equals 1. Yeah, that's right. OK. So the way that we do that, um, whenever they give you an initial condition, you're going to plug this number here in for x and this one here in for y. In this case, they're both 1, so it's not particularly important. But, um, but we're going to go ahead and plug those in. And the one thing to remember, I said we're going to plug this in for y. And you may notice that we have no y in this equation. But the way that this equation actually is, um, because you remember we had uh, dy over dx here, this is actually equal to y, this whole thing, always. So um, when we have, when we come, uh, out with, with this equation at the end, we can put the y on the other side, and then we're going to go ahead and plug 1 in for y, so we say 1 equals 3 fourths, and then we're 
we're plugging 1 in for x as well. So we'll plug it in here and here. So we have 3 fourths times 1 to the fourth minus 2 over 1 plus c. And the whole point of doing this is to solve for c because we want to eventually come up with an equation that has no c left in it. So um, we plugged in for y and x so that we, the only variable we would have left was c and we could solve for it. So we're going to go ahead and say 1 equals um, 1 to the 4 is just 1, so we have 3 over 4 minus 2 plus c. So um, we can say 1 equals, um, 1 equals, sorry, let's do this. Um, let's add uh, 2 to both sides first and get rid of that and then deal with the 3 fourths since that's the easiest. So we will add 2 to both sides, and that will move over here. So we'll have 3 equals 3 over 4 plus c. That 2 moved over here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and subtract 3 fourths, which means we'll end up with c equals 2 and 1 fourth. Um, sorry, I should say 2 and 1 fourth. And I'm going to actually go ahead and change that. 2 and 1 fourth is the same thing as 9 over 4. So we have solved for c. Um, c is 9 fourths. So the last thing that we have to do is go ahead and plug back in for c. And instead of erasing a bunch, I'm just going just gonna to bring it back up here. This was, after we simplified everything down here, this was the final equation that we came up with right here. Um, and the only thing that we had left to do was solve for c. And now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and erase c and plug in 9 fourths. Um, and uh, once we've done that, that's the final step. We have, we have our answer, and this is the form um, in which you'll want to provide your answer. y equals the equation with x, and then plus the constant c, 9 fourths. So this is the final answer. See you next time.